Introducing our newest family member, Old Red. And Old Red is about to take us on our next big adventure. We are Kinsey and Dakota, and you are watching High on Life. Today, you join us as we leave the hot, bustling city of Antalya for an icy, cold camping spot about two hours northeast at the foot of Korpulu Canyon. The frigidness of the crystal clear water, now that's a challenge we are always ready to welcome and overcome. On the other hand, the creepy unwanted sexual advances of our camping hosts, eh, not so much. So buckle up for another fun, strange, and beautiful journey here in Turkey. So you can see our super high tech packing style. Mixture of bungee cords, some paracord, and some just straight cord. Uh, we got our sleeping mats. We got our camping setup with our chairs and table. Uh, in case anybody starts anything on the road, we have a spare corn husk. So, you know, just be warned if, if you come at us, you're going to catch corn in the, right, right in the face. Maybe you the ear. Be. And as you can see, it's a pretty sunny day here in Turkey. So, uh, I'm just going to have to initiate Terminator mode. <laughs> so cute. Oh yeah. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about problems looking like this on the road. I think we're only gonna get respect. Lots and lots of respect. And maybe a little fear. Yeah. If that happens, it happens, all right? We'll handle it with uh, great responsibility. something drop it wasn't anything important but uh tried to slow down and like take a little turn into this gravel that didn't work out so great then we dropped then we dropped and we lost a little mirror but we good it's one of those things that uh you wish didn't happen but if that's the worst that happens it's still gonna be a great great trip and we got to take a little time out here in a beautiful spot in nature, so. I can feel the blood rush through my veins. You know, you know. Somewhere in the distance, the sun's coming up. Everything is blurry, the trees flashing by my side. My side. Get a load of them views! I honk my horn but I'm videoing with my whole case. There you are. In. I'm not really sure when you're just seeing massive landscapes pass you in a blur what is time but what we do know for sure is that we stumbled into this little rafting town and thank goodness because we were starving Vanished. <laughs> and so they have this sweet little um, hut like scenario right along the side of the river getting to see all the rafters go by, which is cute, they're waving. And um, really nice pit stop. We got some Turk Kavesi and some lunch on the way. 
we should be all fueled up and ready to go and make our way onward. Yay! So excited. So, why fish, do you ask? Well, it was the only thing on the menu. And I heard they caught it right from that river over there. So, our initial plan was to climb on up to the canyon and camp there for the night. But some pretty ominous storm clouds changed that. So we're going to be camping down here on the river today. Whew. So we have our sweet little, what we're going to call tea hut or chai hut because we're having chai in the hut. But uh, In the chai hut. As we were giving our tea a little swirl, we realized that we were uh, given these little cute heart-shaped spoons. And they're opposites. Try to figure out which one's the man and the woman. I don't know. I don't know. I think... That's what happens when I look at Kinsey. And so just like that, with a little love in the air, the sun came back out for us. We brought the sun out. <laughs> oh, folks. We'll take this as a sign that uh, it's a good time to chat a bit. Um, you've watched the last few of our videos, well, particularly two videos ago. We really dove deep in just some of the, like, literal tragedies we faced and just otherwise struggles and just here to kind of reflect on that and that was a lot to do with why we had to like force ourselves to get back out and to do something because especially to those who really know me well like you can imagine what it means for me to say that like it's kind of gotten to the point where leaving home was hard and I am just not that fella to like even be able to admit that, let alone exaggerate to that point out of convenience. Um, you know, when considering this trip yesterday evening, I had to go through layers and layers of thought to just like make peace with the fact that like we were going to be leaving the house, going far away from home, being gone overnight and like come into a place of comfort with that. And uh, well, I guess for those who haven't watched the videos, A, go back and watch them. B, 
some really, really crazy stuff has happened to us since we've been into Tur been here living in Turkey. Um, Hard to believe kind of thing. Yeah. To the point where I have to make sure I don't start naming them and go on the like two hour slippery slope of a tangent. Again, just go back and watch and you'll understand. But um, it's kind of like a, a multifaceted message, I suppose, that I would like to get across. Um, we put so much planning into getting here. We took a year of our lives to get our finances capable get the rest of our lives in order for us to be able to, you know, go from North America to Asia. And this, in a lot of ways, I think we would feel comfortable saying was like our getaway. It was more like, sometimes it feels more like out of the frying pan and into the fire. <laughs> yes, on this side of it. And that's kind of, that gets to one of the points, which is use us as an example as to why it's just not simple enough to use travel as a, a getaway. And again, to be honest, like we worked hard and we were really intentional and like we didn't just think we were going to run away and like find like just dreams and butterflies, but like we definitely assumed life was going to be much easier. Yeah, like Dakota was saying, we spent a long time working hard, saving up money. We thought we had more money than we needed because that's what you need to do when you're traveling because things come up, you have expenses you don't expect. So we calculated what we needed, we had like 20% more, and then it turned out we had... Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> because we hadn't taken into consideration the scams, we hadn't taken into consideration that when we were looking at housing, we were looking during the winter. And we didn't realize that the area of Turkey, the southern coast that we were aiming for, the prices are heavily dependent on what time of the year you're looking at. And so as soon as we got here, you know, we had only uh, got our first month ahead of time. And because of how reasonable the prices were, we we're like, ah, you know, like, we'll see what's up after that and go find us another place. Well, what was up after that was the prices. And they yeah. were way up because it was getting closer to season. Wasn't there yet, but just like even moving towards summertime, the prices started a steady climb. And, um, yeah. And so I guess in a lot of ways, what we're talking about is entitlement. Entitled to thinking that your flower is going to stay in your hair when it's not. Um, entitled to think that just because your planning happened and you did it to the best of your abilities, it just doesn't make you bulletproof. And there's a lot to learn from you. You can't feel entitled just because you made a plan and you saved the money that you calculated that you needed, that everything would go according to plan and that your finances would work out as you planned, because it won't. You've got to be prepared for the unexpected. You've got to be ready to roll with the punches. And life is going to come at you the same way. You have to be able to find joy and peace in the small things in life. Like recently, the past few weeks that we have been holed up in our apartment, in our safe space, we have found joy in cleaning, in spending time with the animals, in making our little apartment feel more like home and feel like a... Don't box in success and work because sometimes you're going to find success out of tough situations. Um, you know, chapters in your life that you would have never written yourself, you're going to find those, those, that worth and that value out of, because going forward, I can tell you this, there's a whole big bunch of mistakes that we've made since we've been here 
that aren't going to happen again. They're just not. And why? Because we learned. And we hope you do the same. Use our mistakes if you have to. Reach out to us, ask questions. We're all in this together. And that's how we remain high on life. I think we found a good spot that we can swim in without getting carried down the river by the rapids. We'll or see. smashing into any of the river rocks. Looks deep enough. It's definitely still a churning. It's just the not near as rocky. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so new Somewhere I can find myself I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out to you I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way in bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way Cause I find my way In case you thought we were kidding about the cold There's mama's cold chills to prove it Oh, back in the water Oh, it's cold. Oh, but there's just like once you get out, just this amazing way that your skin feels. I don't know how to describe it except for incredible. Cause I find my way. We weren't looking for an ice bath, but we found one.
are we having fish for the second time today? Yes. But only because it's so good. It's not the only reason. It's literally the only thing that's so good. He's right. And it just so happens to also be really good. He's right. But they filled me in on the secret that they have beard, so I'm not complaining. You don't complain much anyway. This is one gallon of FS. Not really. It was just really close to the to the lens. <laughs> Trick job. This is just also twice as many whole fish that I've eaten in my entire life. I don't know if you're catching that, but what I'm trying to say is I've never eaten whole fish like this before. And it's a little emasculating how not good at it I am. And And so as we mentioned uh, in the old Tea Time Chronicles, this really was like kind of our attempt to get back out there and get back at it. Um, really been a good day. There are certain aspects that like we were definitely a little bit more conservative than like we would be normally. Um, risk that we didn't take, situations we didn't put ourselves in. And uh, you know, maybe that's some of the moments where those learning uh, examples of learning are hidden in um, you know maybe we're having the good calm evening we are because we didn't take those extra risk and that we just settled for you know an easy going good evening and i'm thankful for it it turned out well for us we wouldn't have been camping here towards the bottom of the river we wouldn't have had this lovely fish again for dinner we wouldn't have we wouldn't have met these fine folks who own the place, not in the least the way that we have this evening. And so we wouldn't have gotten to experience the hospitality that they've extended to us. And um, they really have went over and beyond in that way. And I think why that's important and why I wanted to like mention this all together is because that is pretty directly in your fa in the face of some of the like really really bad times we've had with people wanting to treat us bad or you know abuse what they think are our riches which don't actually exist and um, it's you know it doesn't change overnight if we start to plan our next plan I absolutely expect to feel that same kind of hesitation and fearfulness but you know. It wasn't one bad thing that landed us in this kind of like cautiousness and it won't just be one good moment or one good evening that gets us, you know, back to quote normal, but baby steps and got to be grateful for those and find the joy in all of it. And I think we've done a pretty good job of that this evening. And I think that we've come out better for it. I think that we are doing a better job of balancing the adventurous risks with playing it safe and life's about balance. Sometimes good is definitely good enough. And like right where we are this evening was good. Maybe further up that mountain and like deeper in the canyon is great. But we have another day to find that out. Cheers. Thank you all for watching very much. We're gonna eat this. And pretty soon we're going to be wrapping this evening up. Yay! And we'll see you again soon. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. To be honest, the video is not over. We're going to see you in the morning because uh, we still got some stuff to do. But like but you said, anyway. go ahead and subscribe. <laughs>
we're hoping that this is going to be the uh, the bridge to our more explorative next couple of weeks where we can get out and about and show you all more of this beautiful southern coast of Turkey also known as the Turkish Riviera or the turquoise coast and uh, this bad boy says back about 7,500 lira and I will do that calculation during editing and show you the number right here but uh yep we had about 33 miles worth of a drive today and had no issues and that isn't to say that we haven't had some before actually in a very not surprising fashion the day we bought it after going through all the paperwork going to the noter going here going there the bike didn't actually make it all the way home on our first day but after the help of some really fantastic mechanics in Antalya she's up running and carrying her own weight in the family and a bunch of our camping weight as you saw earlier so hopefully you'll see a lot more of her and as a result you'll see a lot more of turkey thanks Allred Give me a second, I'm gonna grab my, my pen and pad here while I take some notes. Cause I can't do what she just did mm -hmm. evidently. I'll teach you a thing or two. But in other news, Mama Bear is trying to get to bed and that calls for her being in her birthday suit. And that just ain't for YouTube. It's not. That means we gotta tell you good folks. Good night. Good night. And we appreciate you. you and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, lovely peoples. Sleep was good when it occurred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I usually got like three hours maybe. Oh, Four. probably a little more than that. Oh, okay, yeah. Four <laughs> it's tops. It's probably closer. <laughs> it's the good thing about trying to get to sleep early when you're camping is that you have enough time that you can not sleep for a while and still get some sleep but on the positive our view waking up Not too shabby. A little Shyamalan twist uh, to a lot that we had to say last night about our fantastic hospitality and that also connects to why we are up at 545 getting our stuff together is uh, I don't I don't even know where to like start it, but basically in short. Things got a little weird. Things got weird. The same hospitality we were talking about being extended to us. We found out why. <laughs> Evidently the host had his sights set on our lovely Kinsey. <laughs> and like you ask, like, oh right in front of you, Koki, or no, he he waited until you were off to the side and stuff, right? Nope, just like, uh, pretty much just trying to pick her up right in front of me. 
so awkward, so weird. And like, he didn't speak very much English. He spoke pretty good, but not so well that we weren't able to like communicate around him, in front of him to be like, what's going on? And then, so yeah, at about the time that he started putting his hand around Kenzie's back, we were like, okay, bedtime. I said, oh, Cookie, I'm gonna go grab our toothbrushes and get ready. Yeah. And I don't want to say it took away from like everything because it <sighs> definitely didn't, but um, you know, that wasn't the feeling that we wanted to go to bed with. Like, luckily, he wasn't drinking, so like we didn't feel anything like too weird going on, like based on where we're camped, being like in the business's yard basically. But yeah, he did sit in this little tea hut. For a couple hours, and we didn't have a rain fly on, so our tent was completely see through, and it's just weird. <laughs> So we got all the stuff packed up and we made our getaway from Bates Camping Motel. And uh, we came down here near our uh, last swimming spot yesterday evening. Found a nice little flat spot and a beautiful view of the water. And now it's time to make a fire and start roasting some beans. Mmm. It's coffee time. It's been hard in America It's been tough feeling safe It's been hard in America I never thought it'd get so bad I wish that I had been dead plain Fly the tears away Maybe I'd find a river so I could drift away all of the pain But it seems there's more to do There's more to love we've yet to find It's hard to see in America The sand thrown in your eyes It's hard to speak in America Coffee incoming. Special delivery. So when in nature, use a stick to stir your coffee. It gives it that extra oaky flavor. Good wooden undertones. So we're down here on the bank of the river where one of the rafting companies gets out of the water whenever they're finished. So not really sure that they would want us down here having a fire and making our coffee, but I guess that is the positive side of people in this area not really being early risers like us. We can kind of do what we want in the morning. Mm. Mm. 
Getting some sweet shots of that water to get them. I don't have to go in that water. I took the plunge and I hope I get the shots to make it worth it because this water is not just freezing, it's also beautiful. This is some serious coffee service here, folks. Hey, Starbucks, where's your river coffee delivery, huh? Dunkin' Donuts? Nada. Kendi Coffee Maker? She's got it. For the adventurers of life. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know, so I can be on record of doing so. Those are big old rocks under there, and some of them move. I could just come to you. Legs are starting to go numb. Uh, you can't drink it in front of me. I got all iced up. I needed to warm myself. That's a fair point you got there. people we appreciate you for coming along with us for another great adventure but for now we gotta make some breakfast and get on home to those sweet little fur babies that we all love oh I miss them so much Maya Moo we're coming home for you <laughs> so we'll see you in the next episode make sure you subscribe to our channel hit that like button and leave us a comment telling us your favorite part of the video we appreciate all your support, folks. Thank you all, and stay high on life. Drink lots of coffee, it helps. <laughs> mm. I know that was supposed to be like the smooth wrap up to the video, but I, I just can't. Folks, how good is camping coffee? We always like glorify camping, and for good reason. Most of it's beautiful. Usually not the sleeping part of it, however, and what better to have than a big old thing of coffee. Maybe that's part of why it's so good. You didn't get any sleep. Mm. She makes she makes a very fair point. Yeah. Alright, but now for real, we's gots to go. See ya!